Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and I had a friend at work, and he had lent his car to another friend, and the battery died. So his friend got a new battery, put it in, and unfortunately, he crossed the cables, and he put the battery in backwards, and so basically he was trying to uh, smash the negative down on the positive terminal, and uh, had even mentioned, yeah, I thought it was odd. I was really having to beat it to try to get it on. And, you know, the thing is, they have the bigger... Uh, post for the positive and the smaller post for the negative battery uh, terminal for a reason. Uh, but uh, at any rate, uh, he had uh, successfully attached both ends, and so what had happened is it had uh, shorted out several things inside the car. Now, the question is what could happen? Well, worst case scenario, you could burn the whole car down to the ground if it had shorted it out and caught some kind of a fire in the electrical system. Okay, the possibilities are really endless to what it could do. It could short out everything, the computer, and uh, best case scenario, like it happened in his case, it just blew out a few fuses. So he noticed his uh, radio was not working. He noticed the cigarette lighter wasn't working, a few things like that. So uh, we just pulled the cover off, found out where those were, pulled the fuses out, uh, and it's always good to have a pair of needle nose pliers handy for that. Uh, some cars come with the fuse puller with them, but it's kind of hard. And something else to mention is uh, a, a lot of times, like in this case, the car comes with some spare fuses. So where it says spare on the plate on the back side, you can use uh, those t uh, usually. So we were able to do that and put everything back in and everything works as normal so he got pretty lucky and uh, just always be careful when you're putting the battery in to make sure you're putting the positive onto the positive and negative onto the negative and uh, you know maybe they're going to have to start putting the slot for one side of the negative and make the positive a plus sign or something for the actual cable end who knows and something i thought was interesting is you may see these two fuses that are together inside this little uh, clip and so that's what one of these was for the audio and to get this out you actually had to pinch the two ends of it together pull both of those fuses out together as a little bracket and then to get the fuses out you had to push down on the tab on the front and pull the fuse out from the back side so I thought that was a little interesting uh, he said he can uh, let me take another look at this I'll make a video to show you how these fuses came out because it was a little uh, interesting so uh, look for a video coming up on that if uh, not anything I'll also put the link to that in the video description so check the video description uh, and uh, anyway just be safe out there uh, these kind of accidents happen luckily they have fuses in place so hopefully it's as simple as a fix like this and uh, just be safe and put in the comments if you have any questions thanks for watching guys